Hey everybody, I'm uh, doing some long wave reception tests. Now here, um, the only thing I can receive in Montreal is non-directional beacons. So I'm gonna use two of them. Uh, and of course, I actually have plugged both my uh, ICOM ICR30 that you see here on the left and the ICOM ICR20, my older um, portable on the right on the Texan uh, AN48X antenna that is an amplified loop antenna it's in the window and it's directional so of course I've used the directional pattern of the antenna to position it as the best reception for any NDBs that I'm listening to so um, we'll see here the uh, difference in reception between the um, R20 and the R30. So here's the R20 on the uh, local airport beacon on 407 kilohertz. So now we're going to try the same thing, but I'm just going to change that connector here from the connector to uh, the ICOM ICR30 into the uh, ICOM ICR30. So long wave uh, reception seems to be pretty close on both receivers. But for some reason, and it's uh, probably because of the audio, sounds a little noisier on the uh, ICOM ICR30. So now we're going to try the same thing, but we're going to go down to 248 kilohertz. 248 kilohertz is another beacon here on the airport. I'm going to actually uh, bring this one down to 248 kilohertz also. So this one is from my local airport. I'm going to just uh, do a little something, change the orientation of the loop in the window. First of all, because it's very directional. And once that is done, I will now also uh, use the Texan tuning and we're going to go and fetch that 248 kilohertz signal tuning with the loop. Should eventually be somewhere here. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to be a getting much attention let's just try to it's difficult to get the uh, the tuning on the uh, Texan loop so here it is I'm just gonna try to orient the loop a little bit make this the best reception possible so here's 248 kilohertz long wave on the icom icr 30 portable once again using the an48x loop there we 
this is, seems to be really the strongest strongest that I can get it on the uh, loop and uh, let's now check out if there's anything different or if it's better on the R20 and here we go look at our you know what I not only is it less noisy, we have the impression that the R20 does perform a little better on long wave. I mean, the R, the uh, the um, Icon SCR30 does receive. And if I look at all the, I'm just gonna look, make sure that the uh, RF gain, RF gain here is set correctly. Yeah, it's maxed, so it shouldn't have, and there's no attenuation, so it shouldn't be. Uh, different, so it seems that the R20 does perform a little better on the long wave band with the uh, outboard antenna, of course. So, what do you guys think? Who's the winner? The R20 and the R30. I know it's not scientific; it's just purely listening to a signal. But uh, it's interesting to uh, note the difference on long wave between the. Uh, the R20 and the R30. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.